hello and welcome lovely viewers so um don't forget to subscribe to this beautiful channel it's the glam box fidelia so um i tried giving this look a uh, two in one with a lip so this is something you can wear as a party uh, makeup for the same eye and this is the part two i tried giving it a very simple soft uh, lip so which one goes for the day and uh, for your special occasions and when you really want to put put together a very soft put together look and the night so let's go on with the routine so i start with the brow shaping and i'm using the pencil liner from earth science i shaped it and i uh, try defining it with um the l'oreal yes the l'oreal the l'oreal true match this is the l'oreal true match so i use it as a definition for the eyebrow shape so these days <laughs> i try not doing so much with the brow uh, routine but just for it to look like a beautiful brow so uh, that's what i did with the brow just shaped it and that's it i try brushing in and that was uh it so i will just try to do a tutorial on the brow uh, the brow here yeah for beginner friendly something that can be easily applicable something that you can all as beginners uh, do for the brow so it's always a step at a time and you need time you need to be practicing practicing and you just be a perfectionist just practice practice always make man perfect never give up on practicing yeah so yes let's go on so i try using a neutral color uh for the eye brow i mean that i use a um l'oreal deep coal in a shade deep coal for the upper eye the brow i mean the upper part of the brow i give it a very neutral for it to be blendable so uh, that's what um i did with the brow so um you just try to it's also like it's also a normal foundation i use to blend in the upper brow and i just let uh, the lower brow as it was and i blended in and i went on with the eye so with the eye i basically primed it <laughs> i primed uh, it with um my essence brow base and yeah i will just show you when we're going on so i use the palette from uh bh um, cosmetic it was a review uh, yeah the bh uh, cosmetic palette that i used and i used a very uh, soft i mean with the zodiac with the 12 zodiac um i used one in um a very uh, bronze um, color so that was what i did with the eye but with the foundation and concealer routine i try doing the concealer so that's what i'm doing now i try using the same shade uh, from the l'oreal perfect um true match and i apply the um foundation on top with the l'oreal uh, perfect match in shade deep cold and i blended it in because i wanted to get a very soft and uh, neutral skin look uh, foundation i always use them um, true match in deep cold so those were the same skin shade yes that's why i use i normally use it it really has um, that kind of sultry effect so whenever i want to have a very soft sultry effect and uh, really something similar to my skin i normally use that one and so far it has been a very good foundation for my skin and even for the client that i use on it's really soft and it has a very velvet um effect on the uh, on the face whenever i use it so don't forget you can try it in your skin shade they are in other a lighter skin shade and darker skin shade so um i use the revolution luxury powder for my setting in because um 
I am really prone to oily in my T-zone. So I tried applying it in those areas for it to have a very uh, matted uh, look. So that's what a certain powder does. So I just allow it to I allow it to stay for a while. Then uh, I try blending it um, in and uh, I do other things. <laughs> Maybe with my cover makeup or bronzing. I normally love bronzing in first to give it a very good blending look, blended look. Then I try using my overall uh, powder and I do the other routines which are really optional. Depending on the kind of makeup uh, look you are wearing. But because this is, um, I mean this look is really uh, for a party look it's a party look and you try to give it all these you can really for daytime makeup you can really skip all these or settings and all because uh, maybe you are not having any activity but when you are going for your activities i mean long hour activity you just try to set in with your powder especially when you are especially when you are her the type that produce a lot of uh, oils. I mean, uh, when you are oil type of person, when you are prone to oily uh, skin, I mean, oily skin type, uh, you always have to go more with your powders, uh, with your certain powders um, more. So, uh, or the spraying, the spraying, uh, you can also use the spray certain i mean that one always comes either before or after the makeup look but when you are having dry skin you can really skip this <laughs> skip this uh, process so don't give up on <laughs> blending in you just use your beauty blender or your brush and try to blend in well. So I'm on my contour uh, routine. I tried using a, a DACA um, powder. So this was a powder I really love. It was really affordable. I got from Primark. And uh, I normally use the MAC uh, Duo color for my um contour but i tried using this one it's so easier and the color shade is not so uh, pigmented. i mean it's not so dark dark pigmented it goes for every skin tone so i've really loved uh, working with the powder now um but all depends if i get a client with a very um a very um how do we say it very dry skin i try going on more with them I mean with the cream the cream type the cream type of uh, contouring either with a darker foundation or any darker uh, concealer I try using that one for it to be a little bit friendly on the skin so uh, it all matters it all involves studying your client uh, skin type it all matters a lot so um, I think we're done with the blending in and everything and yes we on with the eye i've <laughs> i've really forgotten the zodiac uh, but i used but uh <laughs> we make it another time so that was a color palette i used for the eye and it's a very beautiful uh, color i've almost loved it i've almost loved it it has a very, it has a very warm uh, color it's also good for every skin type i mean for the darker so the very light skin type it's really a very beautiful color uh, shade for the eye so uh, that's why i did in the corners i just tried going a little bit with my blending brush today i did all the application to with the blending the same blending brush anyway so um, i tried moving in the cut grease very soft uh, i didn't cut grease today but uh, with a grease uh, area and i tried at the corner uh, side of the eye and the eye. 
and the outer eye i tried just going more and uh, i let because i was going to use um a different shade for the i mean the middle eye so i try just uh, letting it without applying anything i didn't apply true outlet with the same color shade if i'd wanted to have a very sharp uh, cut grease i would have like you know use the primer on but i really wanted to get a very soft eye so i use the other uh, uh, color from the same palette from the bh uh, cosmetic is it a bh or revolution palette <laughs> i'm lost so uh yes yeah, so um i use the same palette in gold for the middle part of the eye and i tried i tried i uh, tried going on more intensive with uh, the gold color so you need to have a separate brush for the gold color so that's the middle of the lid i tried going a little bit pigmented with so that the gold can really stand out it's a very nice pigment and i really wanted it to stand out so just make more application so you'll see your gold pop up how you really want it to be yes so you wouldn't blend you just try to apply it and just try not to apply it all over the eye when you really want to learn how to get this color eye you just try applying it and also where the cut grease so you just focus more on the center of the lid and just try to do your application so it's not a dramatic eye <laughs> but a very beautiful eye that we tried at creating so you can see i was really applying more and uh, just to get it uh, put together just to make it come out as i'd wanted and uh, with the pen uh, the liquid this is a um, waterproof liquid eyeliner from essence i tried using that was what i used for the eyeliner So I really wanted to get a very dramatic eyeliner today. So you just always start with the middle side and you progress more with the outer side and try to create it as you want it. So you try always starting with the middle of the eye, then you mark out the outer side and try to do it a step at a time so because the outer eye was soft i just tried pulling it so that there wouldn't be any error when applying the liquid uh, eyeliner so in case you do any error you just don't forget to use your concealer to do your corrections then you can recreate it any shape that you want it so you just don't don't give up <laughs> don't give up you just don't give, give up um when you make a correction because eyeliner applications are really a tough game to uh, do so for the benefit of the doubt you can also go on with just the um, pencil that goes more i mean uh, easier so when you perfect your skills you can go on with the pomade then you can go on with the liquid uh, that's the link uh, ink sorry the ink liners so i tried doing a two in one for the lip so that's the <laughs> the first uh, lip look i tried defining it through with uh, the red uh, color and i lip line it with uh, something darker i mean the upper uh, line lip line and um, lower lip line i tried lip lining it with a darker to give it a very dramatic uh, <laughs> lip 
So that one goes for night, party, look, or even when you want to worry. Give up on wearing dramatic uh, lip hair. Yeah. So you can even wear dramatic lip for the day, but more party look. So um, I try, not everybody wants um, a very bold lip, you know. Uh, some don't really love bold lips. So when you are not a bold lip lover and you are a very soft uh, type, I also did the two, I mean the second two lip, which was a very soft um lip for this look it also goes it really gives it a very different look altogether so you can choose which one goes best send me in my description box which one was beautiful was it the first red or was it the second a uh, brown soft lip let me know which one goes sir uh, yes <laughs> it really matters a lot to me so please do well to subscribe as well i'm trying to <laughs> reapply my bronzing on top and also highlighting game We still need highlighting anyway. <laughs> we still need highlighting to give the makeup a very beautiful look. I mean, it makes you feel more dewy. I really love staying dewy on my makeup regardless. So uh, the highlighting gives you a very good dewy look. You can skip it as well. It's very optional. So you try applying it at your upper uh, zone cheek zone upper cheek zone and um i was using the matte um bronzer from bh cosmetic for years for the hairlines i just bronze there and uh, just to give the face more definition i bronzed throughout the lower part of the neck <laughs> and also the neck area so that it really matches with uh, the face <laughs> the face has to look exactly and it really blends all it goes on with my uh, skin tone that's what i really wanted to achieve today not over dramatic on the face today we really went neutral more neutral skin look today <laughs> so the look is done those who love lip gloss can also wear lip gloss but i'd wanted to stay matte for this look i really love matte uh, lips yes yeah. so um that was uh from the next um setting spray just to give it a very long wear love you all Keep smiling. <laughs> Bye. Love you all. Don't forget to be here. We're staying here at the Glam Box Fidelia. Do subscribe. <laughs> Do subscribe. I'm a new YouTuber. Are we going? Yes, I'm going here. I'm going here. So let me just try giving some kind of a. <laughs> Yes, attitude, attitude, attitude. <laughs> Just showing some attitude. I mean, uh, makeup is uh, a, 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 a kind of uh, excitement for me. And uh, like, you know, when everything looks together. So that was the second look I tried creating. So we just changed the um, lip. I tried giving it a... Uh, brown yeah brown bronze uh, lip which is also good for the day glam time it's not so dramatic but really glamorous i love such a lips i really love i mean it brings your whole color out the color popping yeah it makes your color pop out so, you know it gives the skin pop 
pop pop <laughs> so that was the second look and i was trying to give some kind of attitude attitude so love you all enjoy more videos uploading so stay tuned in and don't forget to subscribe for more videos updates bye